This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Right, we're back home. Let's take a look at the result in the Google Sheet. <laughs> All right, so you see her acceleration, it comes here. So according to spec, it's supposed to be 4.9 seconds, but it's 4.69 seconds. And then if we look at the weight, uh, man, man, this is the heaviest. Uh, let me just show you here, by the way, since we have all the data here, I'm gonna show you something here. Look here, the whole sheet is even heavier than the fat e-tron. It's the freaking, uh, this is the heaviest car, well, except for EQV, but that's a van. So that, you know, they are excused there. Yeah, that's quite heavy, but <laughs> this is the heaviest beast ever. But despite being so heavy, uh, I guess because it has 551 horsepower, it still kicks some serious ass because it's faster than the Polestar 2 PP, huh? Can you believe that? <laughs> faster than the Volvo C40. I even consider those cars to be quite snappy. Faster than Model Y, huh? Okay, but it's, okay, it's not beating ES8 and Tang. Maybe because, well, just barely though we're talking about uh, less than one tenth of a second and maybe because those cars they have um uh well they are lighter but they actually have slightly less horsepower hmm i think this one has some massive torque the hongshi that's why so just you know just to give you uh, an, an idea of how fast this car is <laughs> despite being so big and fat and then when it comes to braking here you see, well, okay, it's just the highlight color becomes the same as the alternate, okay. But also very good braking performance. I mean, how much is 36 uh, meters? Well, it's better than Model 3, which is a lot lighter. <laughs> but that has something to do with the fat tires and that it uses Michelin Pilot Sport 4. So I guess those are quite grippy tires, but just in comparison, for example, it breaks better than the uh, Škoda Enyaq, for example, ID5, you see. Lots of cars that it beats and then you can almost beat some of the other cars. There. It's, it's very close anyway. So, so braking performance, you know, you would think that a big fat SUV like this car and the heavy would have poor braking, but mm -mm, think again. And then as for noise, guys, look here. Ha! Huh? Top score. This is top shelf garbage. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but this is really top shelf, man. It beats, okay, well, the EQC was probably done on the right lane. Okay, in all fairness, it was probably done on the right lane. If I did it in the left lane, it could be better. But still, you see, we have 20 inch only with narrow tires. We have wider. Uh, tires bigger rims and it still managed to perform this well it's even big better than eqe huh look at that eq dude this car goes like a beast it's quiet like a ninja and it breaks like no tomorrow huh what what else do you need huh? okay better software maybe <laughs> but really the performance of this car is really really good i've tested it now and this is the result i'm not lying i'm just a messenger so i think that's going to be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later